pit stop number one. Oh. Uh, ultimate diesel, ultimate unleaded. That's the baby that we want. Oh, it's warmed up a little bit now. Probably like 12, 13 degrees, which is nice. Nice. She is a good looker. Right, yeah. At least this will uh, wear the tyres a little bit. Oh, they're somewhat warm. Oh, it's the Popo. Wagwan. Right. <laughs> We're good, let's do this. talking a lot because for one I'm on my own so that look weird and two there's a hell of a lot of people around go to fucking Diablos oh I suppose it says ex-Diablo there I need to put my hypermotor there and just take a picture oh, oh I thought I might have to buy a Ducati t-shirt because I'm sad like that <laughs> trip on the grass. Hey! Let's have another sit down. It's actually quite a camber on there. Yeah, so we pop it on the uh, clutch, catch it on the brake. Toddy's probably on the foot brake, not the handbrake. It's actually quite a crown on this road, so it's pulling us like a good one. And then we moved into a staggered, which is a bit of an easier wheelie for us. With the weight further up the bike, it's easier. The sit down one's not as easy, believe it or not. So you can actually put it where you want like this. Looking good there, mate. Oh, I was not looking good. The staggered position, you can move the weight around the bike. You can just sort of position it a lot easier. We're actually travelling quite fast here. We don't normally travel quite this fast. Ah, that's better. We've not normally got quite this length, have we? All right, this will be interesting. Nice one, Al. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. This is what we call a spreader, ladies and gentlemen. And with a spreader, this is one of the tricks you see on all the American DVDs going down the highway. I'm pulling it like, you can't believe it here. Ah, oh, good job there. I was having to work at that one. And then we get into the high chair position. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. First done by Gary Rothwell back in the late 90s at Daytona Bike Week. They certainly said it couldn't be done. Pretty much a standard sort of trick for us guys now. And I'm on the grass again. I'm just carrying a bit more speed than Toddy, which actually stops you wobbling around on the crown of that road. Nice one, mate. All right, Drayton, we can get no hander out. I'm going to leave this to Toddy because he's a master at this. There he goes, ladies and 
and said, well, that deserves a round of applause on there. Do you think I should have a go, Toddy? I'll give it a little go, see if I can do it as well. This yeah, is, uh, you give it a go. He's better than me in this. <laughs> well, I'm going to the grass. Let's have another one. Let's try that again. Nah, it's not for me, that one. I knew I wouldn't be able to do that, Toddy. Do that in the next show. Do it in the next one. <laughs> That is cambered. Let's try that again. Hey, a there. <laughs> we'll have another one though, because I'm not happy with that. I can do better than that. Whatever you do, don't let go of that clutch when you've got that throttle on. It would be a really bad thing. Let's get up to this flat bit up here. Hey. Uh, a little one. Will that get better in the next show? We'll get used to this surface a bit more. All right, let's get on the tank. So this is what we call an acro, specifically a Christ. Not nice when you're standing up here. Hey, Tony, I can see the speedway from up here. <laughs> That's all right, we can have a little watch. They're going around, you know. I'll tell you what, Tony, it may be cambered, but it's all right for this one. Cheers, yeah, guys. it's not too bad, is it? It's all right. All right, let's get some circles going. So everyone thinks that when you circle wheelie, all you do is just lean the bike in. Trust me, if you do that, the bike just falls flat on its side. Where are you going, Toddy? Just about here. I'll see if I can crank this out as well. I'm on the grass. Keep going, Toddy. No one's noticed. Keep going. <laughs> Away. So, basically, we're on and off the brake. So we're on and off, on and off, we're high side, low side, the bike in the circle. If you just tip it in, it falls on its side. And then you can get things like this, which is a flamingo. That's a flamingo. I've got a hell of a crest in the road here. And into a rail fluid, this is one of our easier circles. You gonna do a crazy cold, Toddy? I'll try. I've got too much camber there. I'm gonna do it on the flat bit next time. Nah, I'm out of there. Hey, <laughs> that's right, you guys. It took about 10 years to learn that. <laughs> so we do some up together, Toddy, on that little tea piece down there. Okay. So we'll let Toddy get himself sorted out. And I've got to get my timing perfect. We've normally got a bit more room to sort ourselves out. Okay, mate. Okay. I'm right in behind you, Toddy. Oh, I'm on the gravel. <laughs> Let's try that again. Keep going, Tony. Oh, man, my fingers aching. <laughs> Let's try that again. Go on, Tony, do it again. We can do this. Are you all fit there, Tony? Yeah, I'm good. You're good, are you? Let's just wait for him to get in the right position. Gotta get the timing perfect. Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen, we got it. I'm having to clutch and clutch. Hey. That's tight for that one. Yeah. Hey. So, as he again, gets it running on the smooth spot, right just behind balance point. Two hands off. That deserves a round of applause in that little space, ladies and gentlemen. That is a 240 kilo superbike spinning around on his tail. Thank you. Celebration, really. Oh, he's milking it. <laughs> okay, here we go. What's the front tire? Oh, boy. A little bit of a gap there. Well, that's a little bit. That's a little bit. It's a bit tight for that, but it's all good. Are we going to do some high chair ones, Toddy? Yeah, okay. This is his favourite? Not. <laughs> hey! Spreader. Here we go. What's your foot doing? Yeah. Her foot's all over the place. She's happy she's back to the royal wedding. <laughs> so I'll just give you a quick explanation of these bikes in the middle. This, was the, this one I'm on here, this is the first UK's dedicated drift bike. It's very, very similar to the other bike, mainly because it makes it easier for us to ride. It's got a 10 inch stretch, stretch on the swinging arm to stop the bike hiding, high side so much. You can drift on the other bikes really easy. But we like doing on these because they're just more fun and you'll be a bit more liberal. I'll explain them a little bit more later on in the other shows we're going to do if we're running out of time. Are you ready for this, Toddy? 
Yeah, you've got your fan on, it's pretty hot today. No, I haven't, no, I've left it off. Just turn it on. I always get told off to leave my fan off. You want some noisy smoke, guys, yeah? Yeah, that's what I like. You call it, Toddy. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> show guys we'll see you in the next one thanks a lot thank you guys you've been awesome oh that was tough thanks guys <laughs> Cross fans in the house already. Well, arena cross is motocross, but indoors in a stadium environment. I've been three years straight just as a spectator. It's absolutely insane. The show is incredible. There's flames licking out. There's hot girls running around. There's these guys getting crazy in the air and all sorts of categories of racing as well. It is such an incredible show with laser beams flashing everywhere. If you want to find out more, we have got an arena cross stand just over here i'm going to tell you more about that shortly but i think we should begin with some introductions of the riders that we've got out here so mr jay squib with the super c grab let's give that man a huge round of applause oh the heel clicker so then, let's get these guys up. They've had a bit of a warm up. I'm going to come up and have a bit of a chat because these are the guys who know all about the finale. Are you ready for the grand finales of the show? It sounds like you are well ready. So let's see if we can get them in the air. Oh, three in the air at the same time. Oh, the big old pile up at the end. <laughs> Give those three a massive round of applause. It was like perfect in the air. What happened there? Jamie's like, come to Arena Cross, you're going to see way worse than that. Way bigger pileups. So the first of three, we've got two more trains left. I am blown away. We actually saw three motorbikes in the air at the same time. It looks like uh, Ryan's going to tidy up his bike a little bit. So we're going to have two in the air. Let's make some noise for these two as they roll in. Oh, Indian Airs with huge extension. Give these guys a round of applause as they come across in front of you. They are in full face, but they can certainly still hear the noise you guys are making and it definitely makes it worth their while. So one last train from these riders is Nez and Squibby. Let's give them some noise. Oh, huge whip and a flip Indian from Squibby. Phones. Got my GoPro. Now we just 
work out how to get the fuck out of here. Look how many bikes there are there, and people are still turning up. Like, it was such a good show. Um, as you saw, the stunt riders and whatnot. Uh, there was less less bikes than the other MCN show I went to, and more like markets, so you can buy gear. And uh, I, I bought enough gear recently, so I was really interested in that, and sod going into the tents, because they were fucking roasted. Oh, my dingling is going to get a bit windy. Going on the motorway. That's for sure. Make, 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 make money today. Money, earn, earn, crack money, drug money, bill money. Heard they got life for me. How they got life for me when they took that from me. Since I had my nose, since I had my nose. Really, yeah. I was just joking, man. I was just joking, I was just joking, I was just joking.